Welcome to BizWire. We lead off today with Citic, one of China's largest investment firms, who announced that one of its trust companies has delayed an interest payment due on an investment instrument marketed to wealthy investors. The payment delay could add to jitters over the underlying health of wealth management products either marketed directly to the wealthy or sold through banks to depositors looking for higher interest rate returns. A Citic trust executive said his company is trying to work with local governments and banks to resolve a cash flow problem at the steel company whose loans underlie the trust product. Critics worry about the products that pay customers higher interest rates, many of which channel funds into loans for real estate developers and other projects that cannot access normal bank credit. Such lending in what has become China's vast shadow banking system can conceal high-risk products and overlapping debt obligations into an investment that on the surface appears stable. Citic Trust said that Three Gorges Chuantong Coated Galvanized Plate, a private steel producer in central Hubei province, had said that it was unable to make interest payments totaling $12 million. Citic Trust had raised $213 million from investors to lend to the steel company. The products offered an average annual interest rate of 10 percent, depending on maturity, several times what banks offer on deposits. Citic Trust's announcement comes not long after a wealth management product sold to retail investors at a branch of Huaxia Bank in suburban Shanghai failed to pay out, leading to investor protests and greater regulatory scrutiny of the products. A report by the Financial Times said that China's shadow banking industry is worth several trillion dollars.